Hi everybody, I am at Logical here in LA. Look, and it's early in the morning, so we haven't started yet. Well, it's not really all that early in the morning, but we were out till at least one last, last night. So I guess that was, or this morning, one this morning? Yeah, so I guess that's kind of late. We had a fabulous Friday the 13th superstition party, and that was absolutely a blast. I've done this before. I think one of the TAMs, it's run by Margaret Downey, and um, you know, probably a good 80 people or so showed up. We had a little lecture yesterday for about an hour with Ross Blotcher, Brian Dunning, and Bob Novella, and they talked about, you know, it was like a Q&A, and that was a lot of fun. So, oh, and um, you know, just kind of some fun things. Let's go say hi to Brian Dunning. I see Brian up here, so let's see if he's got something. Because he's going to get mobbed here real soon, and he's not going to have any time to talk to anybody. Look at... Hey! I'm live. Yay. Say hi to everybody. Oh, hello, everybody. That's Brian Dunning, everybody. From Skeptoid.com. Oh, man. Man, my heart just went... <laughs> ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, from that. I mean... Does it get any better than Mine this? Mine did, too. Oh, oh, he's such a sweetie, isn't as he? As soon as Susan walked up here, oh, he's... my heart went... <laughs> oh, so Stephanie Renee says, hi, Brian. Hi, Stephanie. Oh, Stephanie, hi, I miss your... Well, so you can see my face right now. It's nice to see you, too. <laughs> um, so, and Henry Ibb says, hi, Brian. So... Hi, Henry. What's he's, up? He's having trouble. He's got to get his coffee. So Brian's not quite, you know, spot on like he normally is in the mornings <laughs> these days. This is as spot on as I can be. As spot on as you can be. So we're, we're doing something real important right now. I'm assisting them to hang up the sign. <laughs> Thank you very much. And um, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm going to be sitting in a corner with my mouth shut <laughs> and taking a few photos as, you know, things happen and... So there's a lot of people here that I, that I know and a lot of people I don't know and people I'd like to know. And I'm sure I'd like to know everybody. Everybody here I'm sure would be very nice. It's great to be in a, with people who are log, um, um, logical, you know, we're all in the same thing. Oh, yes, Stephanie, thank you. The sign is backwards. We did that on purpose because this is L.A., you know. Um, and Henry is so excited that Brian said hi to you. Well. Would you like me to have them send you a big kiss or something like that? <laughs> Hi, Stuart. Um, uh, Seth Andrews is here a few minutes ago. Uh, Joe Nickel, I just took a selfie with him also. Uh, the party last night, we had all the celebs, you know, all the people that you should know were here. Uh, Ross Blatcher, oh, he gave me a huge hug. I just love Ross Blatcher. Yep. Hi, Bruce here. Hi, Susan. Bruce here. Oh, hi, Bruce. I read that wrong. Sorry. Seth's voice is verbal butter. We're trying to get his Wikipedia page back up. We had a Wikipedia page written for him, and it was deleted for note being not noteworthy. And so we translated into Russian and Dutch, and then the English page got taken down. So I was just having a conversation with him this morning. We need a citation or two just to prove he's notable. And then we can put his Wikipedia page back up, but we've got it and everything got a couple other languages other than English that's kind of funny huh yeah not noteworthy because he has to have secondary citations you have to have evidence that um, I know what the F he you have to have secondary citations you get those from like doing a newspaper well like an in, somebody coming to you and saying you're the expert like a newspaper would come to you and say this this is happening right now and we need to know what you think of it evidence <laughs> so yeah um, or a critic has to to um, give you the note worthiness some notable critic has to write about you somebody has to kind of say you know Bruce Hood what's happening in, to the US skeptical movement Tam is no more but what is replacing it Psycon Psycon is replacing it Bruce uh, Psycon has been going on for since like the 1980s, but they haven't been consistent. That's the one that's run by CSI and the Center for Inquiry. And they had their conference last year at um, Vegas, baby. You have to say Vegas and baby. They have to be said together. Vegas, baby. It's like, 
I don't know, it's a California thing, I guess, even though we're in California, but that's Nevada. Anyway, so yeah, Psycon is taking over um, the TAM experience. They've incorporated many different kinds of things that used to be at the TAM, like the Sunday papers and yeah, Vegas baby. Uh, the Sunday paper and uh, they don't have a million dollar challenge, but you know, that's so much work and it's, you know, are you getting anything out of it? I don't know. So they have the same kind of speakers. It's happening in Vegas. It'll be happening again this year. So Bruce, come on out. Come on down. Come on down. Come out to Las Vegas, baby. And uh, it'll be the weekend of Halloween. So it looks like conference wise, um, and this is the first time this one's had a, a conference. It's called Logic Cal. It's run by Bruce Gleason and um, in LA. It's the first year. It's got only going to have maybe under 200 attendees. Okay, yeah, we'll do. All right, I've got witnesses, Bruce. You're going to come out and see us. I really want to get to see QED um, again. I hope to speak there. I just got to have somebody ask me. I'll be speaking in at the European Skeptic Conference in Poland this September. I'm one of the speakers, believe it or not. So I should be going to the Czech Republic and to um, uh, Poland to speak to them because GSOW really badly needs non-English editors. Well, actually, we need all editors of all kinds, but we, you know, non-English would be great. If I can get out there, it sounds amazing. Yes, Vince. Vincent, what are you talking about? Are you talking about... Um, hi, Jay. Um, are you talking about getting out to Psycon? Because it's, it's, it really is just like Tam. It's, I mean, we even had James Randi there. But James Randi will also be at the, at the European Skeptic Congress in September. Um, the Australians do a hell of a great conference. And, oh yeah, Skeptic Cal is going to be June, don't make me pull my purse out and look at my calendar, but Skeptic Cal will be in June in Berkeley. I think they've got the location, um, but they don't have their speakers yet. That's going to be a lot of fun. I think they're going to do something different this year. Skeptic Cal is going to not have um, workshops. So this way they can have a different kind of venue. Everything is going to be just one one room instead of having to choose. That's kind of the problem with QED. Some people love that and some people don't love that. But when you go to QED in Manchester, England, for anybody who doesn't know, this last year they had five choices. So you're attending the conference, you have to pick five from five different choices where you're gonna go. One room is a lecture, one room is a panel, one room is a podcast, one room is a movie be being shown, and the fifth I think is a workshop room. So you can't even slightly see everything there is to do. And you can't go back the next year and choose because, it, you know, something you didn't see because morning, it's not going to be there anymore. Good morning, Hi, Ryan. We're just talking about QED. You're going to be at QED. And you've been there so before, too. Cable so um, so Skeptic Cal is going to be coming up in June. I just finished my personal local group, which was Skeptic Camp in Monterey County. We did that last weekend. Fantastic. We had some great speakers, um, great community. It was about 54 of us, I think, at, at all, all together. But um, the videos are up on my YouTube channel. Really fun. And um, what else is coming up? New Zealand Skeptics. I just spoke to them last year. It was 60 of us in Queenstown. That was amazing. Um, you know, some of these small conferences, if you can get in, it's like seeing a, a, a how do I say, some rock and roll group or some group a musician that hasn't got famous yet you can go and you're with a very intimate group you get to spend time with them you can you can sit and talk and see them up close and then years and years later when they're like mega stars you'll go oh I remember them hi Don yeah where are you you'll be here before lunch okay I'm looking forward to taking a selfie with you Don and Don bring some food because this stuff here is so expensive and I'm not buying that kind of money like we're, at a, we're at a really nice Hyatt. It's really, really high end. It's beautiful. The water tastes amazing. Really good water. But, um, you know, the meals are just, no. Susan's not paying that kind of price. And 
So I had a cookie for breakfast, and then I brought, I have some peanuts, so, and I had an apple, so my breakfast is set. We're going to send out for pizza or something for lunch, I think. But, um, anything else anybody wants to know? Let me, let me let you turn around and see what's going on over here. Here we are, Logic Cal. LA, everybody's getting ready. And people are just starting to get in. And there's lots of seats that are, it looks, it's comfortable. These are these fabric seats. Oh, look, there's George Rob. Um, I've been talking to him this morning. And, uh, oh, there's Bruce Gleason. And so they're starting to get ready. Um, I guess I'm sitting next to the audio people and the visual people over here. <coughs> okay, let me flip this back. Hi, Sharon. Sharon, how's that page coming? How, I didn't hear. How's how's the how is the uh, Iceland? Did you meet up with the skeptics over there? I told you I'd find some skeptics for you. To hang out with that was great so many responded i hope i hope you got to go see them um so you know people we're a community we really have to go and see these kinds of things because you could sit at home and watch these videos I, you know whatever the important thing is to get out shake hands with people sit down and talk to them um you know share break bread have a beer something like that because you really just need to be um, you know, the community is, you have to be there. So even if it's a skeptic camp, a skeptics in the pub, a comp, one of the larger conferences, you really should come out and see. All right. Iceland was awesome, but I did not meet up with anyone. They were, they were. Uh. So, all right, go and finish your trainings, Sharon. You said you'd do it when you finished got back from Iceland. All right. Bye, everybody.